Yeah, doctor, I'm not gonna lie. I went pretty deep on this after you know the chat GPT moment. I think I spent Jan and Feb and March and April learning a lot and talking with the people out there, including you know Hugo and Mo and all these people. And I came to a similar conclusion. Um, I don't know if it was my MIT background, but I just was like looking at the timeline and trying to take all my hope and emotion out of it and just thought, you know, at what example on earth has a more intelligent species ever been nice or lenient to a, to a, a less intelligent species? And look, and look at the human race, look at anything. It's, it's always a matter of control and it always turns out really poorly for this less intelligent race. And, and yet when I try to explain that to humans, maybe it's this thing, like you said, with that movie, you know, Don't Look Up, where people literally don't wanna look up at their own demise. But for me, it just seems really crystal clear that these machines are gonna optimize for things other than what we optimize for, plain and simple. And all you need is, is, is one event, one event out of events that could be happening every microsecond uh, to basically terminate what is a really fragile life form. Uh, that's the conclusion I came. Now, I had a lot of people that have said no and we can be nice to them. And I love Dr. Ben Gertzel and he says, I see a future where my children will never work and it'll all be benevolent. But I struggle, I struggle to find that conclusion. All right, so we are not just hoping to get one system to work as expected. We're not talking about GPT-5, full stop, we solved it, we're done. We need to have a perpetual safety device, which forever, no matter how many iterations we go through, what model we release, what training data, what humans interact with it, what insider impact it has, it remains fully safe and controlled. That, that is equivalent to perpetual motion device. That's impossible. You mentioned compute earlier. Well, what are your thoughts on that? We've obviously seen NVIDIA last week become the most valuable company in the world. Uh, Sam Altman now, has invented a new noun called compute. It's that's all he talks about. He said that's all the only commodity that maybe is gonna be relevant in the future. You see these massive trillion dollar tech companies with access to compute seeming to be dominating the future, whether it's Microsoft or OpenAI, et etc. Um, what, what do you see when you see the data centers, the hardware, the software? Um, is it really gonna be who has those resources that will crack this first? They are definitely extremely important regardless of specifics of AI control. Uh, you need it for controlling crypto economy, you need it for just uh, outsmarting competition in terms of intelligence, running your economy. Uh, it's good to have access to tools which allows you to better analyze data, run statistical simulations. Uh, so definitely it's an important part of our future. Uh, will there be wars over dominance of certain regions which are able to produce those chips? Uh, it is possible. Uh, it is a concern we all have. It could be a control mechanism. Um, I want to ask you about this, this question, whether we're in a simulation, uh, because it, it possibly relates to AI, possibly doesn't. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, again, earlier we alluded to the fact that the AIs could control us, not through nanotechnology, not through potential nuclear war, but potentially through a narrative that we would wholly buy into because they know how to press the buttons on humans, which probably looks really easy. Uh, easier than a game of Go, I would think, to a computer. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to londonreel.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy.
I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year is going to be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that want to join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm going to tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days, but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you going to do? What's the choice that you're going to make?